when the bombings happened, you know, I can tell it was just, it was, uh, it hurt. Uh, I mean, these were such disgraceful, terrible acts. And they'd attacked the symbol of my city. The Boston Marathon is something that we all look forward to in this film. I mean, everyone that we've talked to so far didn't really know, you know, this individual. They may have interacted here or there, but didn't really know this individual. The older suspect who intermittently visited, you know, the congregation. Um, and uh, the two incidents. The first one was uh, during a congregational prayer where uh, the the preacher, um, you know, started talking about uh, the appropriateness of, uh, you know, celebrating uh, national holidays like July 4th and uh, Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving was around the corner, and, um, you know, and just how it's appropriate to celebrate the birthday of the prophet. And so he stood up and challenged that. So that was the first incident. And then the second incident was uh, in January around Martin Luther King Day, um, when our preacher said, listen, um, you know, Martin Luther King is a great man, you know, he's always going to be remembered in history, in the context of also discussing Prophet Muhammad. And so at that time, he stood up and also, you know, challenged and actually called, you know, our preacher a hypocrite, uh, at which point the congregation and you know, the people of the congregation started shouting at him and said, you need to leave. And so he stepped out of the sermon. And after the sermon was finished and the prayers were done, then uh, you know, some of the leaders uh, of the center sat down with him and said, listen, you have a clear choice. Either you're silent um, you know, from now on uh, during these sermons, um, or you know, you're not going to be welcome here. Uh, and so the rest of the time he was silent. But I think our reaction is what's Boston's reaction, right? This incredible hurt and shock that these people could, you know, do something like this. I think the spirit of Boston is the spirit of America. Uh, and I am confident that people realize that these people were isolated examples in the same way Timothy McQuay was, you know, in the Oklahoma bombings. I know that people of America, you know, won't, will not blame you know, a whole community for just the actions of one or two people.